Good morning and welcome to this next lesson. I'm Mr. McLeod. And what we're going to start off with here is we've got a warm up problem here. So what I want to do is I actually want to give you a few minutes to see if you can answer this question. What is the tax on someone who makes $65,000 annually? So take a few moments, see if you can use this tax table to answer this question. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and dive right into this. So we're going to use this tax table. First thing that we need to do is figure out which of these rows are we going to be in. So $65,000, okay, uh, it's going to be in this one because 65000 is bigger than 37451 but it's less than 90750 So everything we're going to do is here. Now, I need to give myself some more room, so I'm going to kind of scroll down a bit. All right. Now, notice that I left out the columns on my screen, but we're still going to go do the same thing, okay? We need to find what's the amount over, okay? The amount over. So even though I didn't give you those nice organized columns, you can still do the same thing. So how do we find the amount over? Here it is, 37450 And what do you have to do with this? You have to subtract it from your annual income here. So you need to do 65000 minus 37450 So I'm going to go ahead and type that in my calculator. Minus 37450 All right, so I'm getting this number, 27550 All right. So this is what I have for the amount over. Now remember, the next thing that we have here, we have the percent part. So this is where this 25% is going to come in. Don't forget, you have to change that to a decimal, all right? And this percent is going to get multiplied by what you found here in the amount over. So these two things are going to get multiplied. So let's go ahead and see what that equals. Let me move and get rid of that. So if I multiply that by 0 0.25, that equals $6,887.50. All right. So this is what I have next. And then lastly, remember, you have the additional amount. Additional amount. So what happens with the additional amount? Well, you just add this part right here just gets added to this. Okay. So you just add the additional amount, 5000 156.25. We just add those together. So let's see what we get. 5156.25. And that gives me $12,043.75. And this right here should be the total tax. All right. So that's what you do. Um, if you have trouble with this, then you can just pause the video and ask me a question. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and dive into this next lesson. So we've already been talking about how to calculate your federal tax and your state tax by using these tax tables, but now we're going to talk about another type of tax. So this lesson is going to be over something called Social Security and Medicare tax. So I've got three vocabulary words that you need to be following along with your own worksheet. You should have this. If you don't have this, then ask Mr. McLeod for it. So the first vocabulary word, we have something called FICA tax. And this FICA, F-I-C-A, uh, it stands for this. It stands for the Federal Insurance Contributions Act. So what in the world does that mean? Well, basically, it's a tax that funds two things. Social Security. Whoops, if I can, get, if I can move that down. What in the world just happened? My whole thing just disappeared. Some of y'all might be liking, might be like, yes. We don't have to do this lesson anymore, but I want to see if I can bring it back. So just pause for a second. Let's see what we get. Where did it go? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. All right. So I just had a little bit of technical difficulties. So let's see if we can keep going. So where were we? Right here. All right. Thank you, guys. This is what I was trying to do. Social Security and Medicare. Got to love technology. Just, you know, crapping out on you right there in the middle of a video. 
So let's talk about what is the Social Security, what is the Medicare? Well, we, here's a definition for Social Security. It's a federal program for retirees, the disabled, and children of deceased workers, okay? Basically, what this program does is, uh, what does it mean to retire? Where after you've worked for a certain number of years, then this program will start paying you some money. And you don't even have to go to work to get this money. It'll just go ahead and pay you this money, all right? Uh, if you're disabled, you can get some of this money. If you're a child of a deceased worker, if, you're, if your mom or dad have passed away and they pay into Social Security, then you can get this money. Now, this money is your own money, by the way, okay? Social Security is not that they're being nice. They're like, hey, we're just going to give you, you know, this money after you retire. No, this is money that you've actually paid into it. And this is how they calculate how much you pay into it. They use this percentage. 6.2% of your taxable income. And we're going to talk about how we find that in a second. Okay. But that's all Social Security is. It's just a program to try to uh, help people have some money uh, when they retire. Now, if it were up to me, I would just wish they would just let me keep my money. Okay. I can save it myself. But they tend to think that we're probably not going to save our money. So they just go ahead and take it from us. And then when we get older, like, hey, you can have your money back. So that's just what Social Security is. Let's take a look at this next one, Medicare. Medicare provides health insurance, okay? So that's basically the main thing that's health insurance for people 65 and older or people with disabilities. Now, this health insurance, once again, it's not free. The government's not just saying, hey, we're going to give you health insurance when you get old. No, you pay money into it, and this is how they figure out how much you pay in. You're going to pay in 1.45% of all your taxable income. So these two numbers here, 6.2 and 1.45, you're going to need to know them to do calculations on how much you have to pay to Social Security and how much you got to pay to Medicare. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at a few prep problems, but keep these numbers in mind. 6.2% for Social Security, 1.45% for Medicare. All right, let's try a few examples. Suppose you get paid weekly and your gross pay last week was $250. So the first question we have is, how much would you have to pay to the Social Security? Well, remember, Social Security is 6.2%, right? Let me go back just to make sure. Yeah, 6.2%. So all you're going to do is do 6.2% of this 250. So how do you do that? You can do the proportion method, or you can just change this to a decimal and multiply it by 250 because this is the whole. So this is how you're going to do the problem. 250 multiplied by this as a decimal, 6.2 is 0 0.062. How did I know that? Well, you could just divide this by 100. That equals 0 0.062. If you forgot how to change a percent to a decimal, you always divide it by 100. So let's see what that gives us. Times 0 0.062, $15.50. And there it is. That's how much money you would pay the Social Security out of that amount. Okay. Let's see. do this part. It says, how much would you have to pay in Medicare tax? Well, remember, Medicare tax is 1.45%. Let's just double check. Yep, 1.45%. So let's see what we got. You're going to take your gross pay, 250, and multiply it by 1.45% as a decimal. So 250 times, so what would this be as a decimal? Let's divide it by 100. So that's going to give me 0 0.0145. Or you can just move the decimal place over two spots, whichever works for you. So I'm going to take this number and we're going to multiply it by 250. So times 250, that's going to equal about $3.63. Okay. I rounded this up. Okay, your calculator probably actually gave you 3.625. This is probably what your calculator gave you. But I rounded it up to $3.63 because you can only have two decimal places with money. All right, let's keep going. See what we got next. Suppose you get paid monthly and last month you earned $3,600 in gross pay. How much do you have to pay in Social Security tax and how much do you have to pay in medical care tax? Okay, I'm going to let you pause. Well, you don't have to pause the video. It's going to go ahead and pause automatically to see if you can do this first part. All right, so just like the last one, all you have to do is take your gross pay, 
3,600, that's your whole amount that you get paid, and multiply it by the percent for Social Security tax, 6.2%. But remember, we have to change that to a decimal. So it's going to be 0, 0.0, whoops, that kind of looks like a 6, 0, 6, 2. So if we multiply that together, that's going to equal $223.20. Not too bad, right? Uh, try this one. How much did you have to pay in Medicare tax? So once again, you're going to do 3600 this whole amount that you got paid, gross pay, multiplied by the Medicare tax, which is 1.45%. All right, so that's going to be 0 0.0145. Okay, it's got to be the decimal version. 0.0145. Type in my calculator, I get $52.20. But that's how much money they would take out of your paycheck for Medicare. So hopefully seeing these problems aren't too bad, but I got a third example to look through. So let's check this one out. Suppose you earn $9.50 per hour, and last week you worked for 38 hours. How much money did you have to pay in Social Security last week? Well, think about how we've always been doing this problem. When we did this problem, you have to multiply your gross pay by the percent as a decimal. You have to multiply your gross pay by the percent as a decimal. But what is the gross pay? Look at this problem. I didn't tell you. So you might be wondering, where do we get this? We don't have the gross pay. Well, actually we do. You have to calculate it though. I gave you enough information. You make $9.50 per hour, and last week you worked 38 hours. You need to calculate what your pay would be. So remember, you gotta take your pay rate, $9.50 multiplied by the number of hours that you work. And that's going to give you your gross pay. So if I multiply that, that gives me $361. This right here is the gross pay. So once we have this, we can just do it like the last one. 361 multiplied by, remember, Social Security is 6.2%. So just put it as a decimal here, 0 0.062. So that's going to be about $22.38. Okay, I had to round this one again. All right, I had to round this one again. I left out the two. Just going to go to two decimal places. How much money did you have to pay in Medicare? Well, well now we know what the uh, gross pay is. So you just take this 361, multiply it by the Medicare tax rate which is 1.45%, remember. So that's going to be 0 0.0145. So multiply those, 361 times 0 0.0145. That's going to give you about $5.23. Once again, I had to round that, and there it is. So that's pretty much the gist on how to calculate your Social Security, how to calculate your Medicare. So try these practice problems. If you have trouble, just ask for help.